Hi, and welcome to this episode of Patrice and KT present Fiction Addiction, where we are going to do green eggs and ham. Here is my lovely sidekick, KT, and we are going to show you step-by-step -step how to, with simple household ingredients and utensils, make a really fun green eggs and ham for a fun like weekend snack or something. Here we go utensils that you need first. We've got bologna for our ham because it's going to fry up and turn a little green. We've got two eggs. We have green and blue food coloring gel. That's what we'll need for everything that we're dyeing green and you'll see why we use the blue. We've got one stick of room temperature salted butter. We've got two knives, a spoon, a fork, and then just a normal, you know, a kitty cup plastic that's they're usually on the large side, but for the rim, and then a little Dixie cup paper for uh, our egg yolks, and you'll see how we use that in just a minute as well. One mixing bowl for the yolks, and then two, one is going to be for butter, one is going to be for the egg whites that we separate, and I will show you how to separate the egg whites now. Egg yolks from the whites, we're just going to do it the most simple way that I know. Crack our egg on a flat surface, try and split it in half, and dump the egg whites into your bowl. You dump the yolk back and forth a little bit to get rid of all the egg whites possible. If a little bit's left over, that is a-okay. And we're gonna stick our yolk in our glass bowl. Eggs get thrown into the sink or into the trash can, depending on your household. Again, we're gonna do the second one, separate the whites from the and don't do that as you can see when you make that mistake sometimes if you don't break the yolk it's easy to just do that and we will whoop, stick the second yolk there now that we have our egg yolks we've got two in our mixing bowl my lovely assistant here is going to hold it up for me. And I'm gonna put two drops, one on each yolk for fun, big drops of the gel food color. So silly me, I don't know if I left it or not, but <laughs> we've put um, green food dye in with our yellow, which is gonna make it probably more yellow than we want it to be. I'm gonna add a blue drop. So now we've got our blue and green food dyes and we're going to mix it up. The little bit of blue in there helps us because yellow and blue make green. And then the green in there was to give it a slightly lighter color with the yellow and it looks just like Nickelodeon slime as Casey pointed out. So we will set this aside to use in just a couple of minutes. And then we've got our small skillet here put on a small burner and we're going to put it at low to medium heat. And then we're going to go ahead and get our butter. So here we have our butter, and most butter sticks have the number of tablespoons on it. And we want to set aside three for our green butter that you will see in just a minute. And then we're going to get our pan ready with butter. Setting aside the three tablespoons. And then we shouldn't need much butter, but as you can see here, I'm just cutting off another tablespoon and we want our pan to be nice and greased up. And here we will put our two egg whites into the pan to cook. And this will go straight in the sink. Now that we have our egg whites cooking, we are going to get the butter ready and turn our butter green for our green ham that we're going to show you. We're going to do four drops, as you can see. Take a little white spatula and mix it up. You know how I said that we needed to do four drops? 
Well, that was what I had thought for the original recipe would make sense with the butter, but actually you need quite a bit more. We're gonna do 10 whole drops um, of it. So six more to go since we've already put four in. And it's time for us to pay attention again to our egg whites. Now, for flavor, we're going to sprinkle with a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of salt. Because believe it or not, green eggs and ham are actually very tasty. And that'll be close to done cooking. Probably needs to be on the pan for about three minutes. And then it'll be done and it's been on there for about a minute and a half so far. Our egg whites are just about done, and Katie did a wonderful job, this looks perfect, of mixing up all this green butter. So, we are going to get a plate and a spatula and move our now fully cooked egg whites over onto this to cool for about one minute while we cook our green egg yolks. You want to bring it over here? Set it on a cool burner for a minute. Let that cool. While our egg white is cooling off, we are now going to cook our green egg yolks. So let's heat this up. It's nice and greased again. We'll stir our slimy green egg yolks one more time and then bloop right in a little circle there and put this immediately into the sink especially because depending on what bowl you use it may or may not uh, stain the bowl a little bit if you don't put soap in it right away. We are going to um, show you how to cut our egg white. Casey made a great suggestion of using two different size cups. So we found a Dixie cup, pretty common, and then a normal kids um, like plastic cup as we discussed in the beginning. And we're gonna cut our egg whites with this first. Hope So we're gonna be able to get one from ours and we're gonna push straight down and twist our cup. And it's cut nicely, put this over. And then let's shift our view to our green egg yolks. See how easy they are to move around in the pan? Look at how green that is. Our egg white is perfect. We're gonna, and we're going to just flip this around, set this on our cutting plate. This is going to go back on a cold burner for two minutes before we cook the ham. We're gonna take our Dixie cup and we want the bottom size because it's perfect for going in the center of our egg and we're just gonna push down and cut with a butter knife around our Dixie cup for the perfect green egg yolk. We'll take our bottom again and cut our center as well. <laughs> Smack in the center and cut around your Dixie cup. Perfect. Now take your spatula once more or your knife or whatever and put it on your nice plate to get it ready for your yummy green eggs and ham snack. And here's what we have so far. Is that not super fun and very realistic from the original picture? And then we've got the pan that we're gonna put back on the burner. It's still at low medium heat and we're gonna put our butter in the pan and get our bologna ready. So for your reference, we're gonna do a glob of green butter. Uh, probably about a tablespoon's worth. 
And it's probably smart to wait until you have the butter in the pan to take the bologna out of the package. We learned that. Here's our very green pan and the bologna's being thrown in there. The bologna's been cooking for a few seconds. We're just gonna get the butter all around it. It's kind of icky, I know. And then it's trying to bubble up. So we're gonna cut three little slips in our bologna, like a three leaf clover, so that it doesn't shrivel up. It can have a hole in it, but it's trying to shrivel up and turn into a tiny piece of meat. And those little slits there just prevent that from happening while we turn it super green for our fun little weekend snack. Time to flip it. And that needs to cook probably for about two minutes, but basically just until you see the edges dribbling up a little bit and getting kind of brown because it will create a very crispy piece of fried bologna that will be delicious with your green egg. It's looking pretty good if I say so myself. Here we go. Our finished product. My fingers are a little green. Yours may be too, but that's okay. We are pretty happy with our outcome. We did smear a little bit of our green butter on there because we did do a trial run the first time to make sure we were giving you proper um, ingredient portion sizes and everything and the bologna was really green and this time it wasn't so our recommendation is just to make sure that the butter is as green as you can possibly make it specifically three tablespoons butter ten drops of gel green food coloring should do the trick no problem we have our egg a little bit of salt and pepper green yolk egg white and then our fried bologna, and we are gonna see how it tastes because our fried bologna is our ham. Oh gosh. I feel like cutting. Well, cutting in the air is difficult anyway. I also apparently fail at picking things up with a fork. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste any different than a normal fried bologna sandwich would which she's never had, but I grew up on. So I don't know how common it is. I will say this, for not having grown up on it, I am sad because <laughs> that is good. And then I've got a little bit of yolk, a little bit of egg white. I'm actually gonna get some more of that bologna. It's really good. You're not gonna try the egg? I'm not an egg fan. So apparently I'm the only one trying the egg, but here we go. Fine, I'll try some of the egg because now I feel bad. Again, doesn't taste at all different. Very yummy, lots of fun. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Yay! Apparently we need to learn how to eat again. How are we not starving? <laughs> all right, thank you for watching. I hope that it was informative. Try it at home, it should be a lot of fun. And go ahead and read the book if you haven't in a while. It's great for all ages, I think, because I still enjoy it. I will leave a link below to KT Bibliophile's uh, book review pretty much channel. Is that how you describe it? Yeah. Okay. And as you can see here, we're starting a new fun series of mainly children's books, but we're going to show you how to create fun snacks and meals with uh, children's stories and toys in mind, and we're going to have a blast doing it. Please click the subscribe button if you want to see more. Leave a comment below if you have a suggestion, and we will see you in two weeks. Thank you. Bye-bye.